and welcome to Casual DIY Channel. This is my new workshop. Come and have a look. Okay, so as you remember, my old garage in the UK was 13 and a half square meters. Now I'm spoiled because this one is 21 square meters. So it's much larger than the one before. On top of it, it's about three meters high. So I can actually make some nice storage in there at some point of development of my workshop. Um, there is a lot to do here and I'm gonna show you that right now. So as you can see, more or less the whole garage is still in pieces. We just barely managed to move into our house and more or less unpack. Thanks God, we've got a large attic, so most of our things <laughs> went over there. But as you see, I've got the benches sorted here so I can actually do something at the moment, but everything else, most of my tools are still in the boxes. Uh, as you can see behind me that massive mess now there's not much I can do at the minute before I can sort out the lighting as you wouldn't be able to see my videos in a decent quality at the minute obviously it is what it is and I apologize for the poor quality of the lighting but at the moment I can't do anything about that and it is my first video in the new workshop so I want to take you on a tour of changing this garage into a fully fledged workshop but obviously I've mentioned the problem with the lighting and I think the um, the lamps that I had in the garage in the UK may not be <laughs> enough of them to actually light properly the whole place so I need to figure that out now there's a bit of a problem here maybe not a problem but a job I need doing um, the, the roof on this garage, that's the end of. It's not a built-in garage that's inside of a house. Uh, it's not totally separated from the house. And um, that wall on that side is actually uh, connected to the house. There is no doors between the garage and the house, which is good for me because the potential dust from my workshop will not get through to the house. So that's a bonus. But yes, let's go back to the, to the roof itself. It's not insulated. And a few days ago we had, well, it was very, very hot. And in here you couldn't stand more than five minutes. It was so hot. So uh, the walls are fine. They're properly insulated. There's no issues with that. But the roof needs sorting. So I need to put the insulation and basically a ceiling. So that's one of the projects I want to show you how I'm going to do that with, well, basically limited knowledge, really. Um, I'm not gonna use plasterboard in here. Uh, I'm thinking OSB to sort out um, the ceiling itself and obviously proper insulation. Um, but you will be able to see that in my future videos. Another thing that I actually want to sort out is that window behind me. From a security perspective, it's not a good thing, especially in Poland. You know, I don't want to lose the contents of my workshop, so I'm going to block that window. Yes, you know, a little bit of a natural sunshine would be nice, but I think proper lighting will sort that issue out. And on top of that, I don't want to lose the warmth in the winter, so I'm going to um, insulate that as well. I'm not sure how I'm gonna insulate and block that window out yet. If you've got any ideas on how to insulate and block that window, drop me a comment down below. It would be really nice for me to draw some experience from you guys as well. I definitely don't want to break that out as in the future, you never know, I may actually need a window. So it would be a semi uh, temporary solution um, so yeah, we'll see about that. Another thing I need to get sorted is the electricity in the uh, in the workshop itself. And for so many tools, I just need more sockets and a system that will prevent tripping out um, the electricity in the house. So I need something in here, but that will be sorted by a electrician. Uh, I feel that ne that needs to be done properly. And for me to do that, I don't have enough knowledge. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hire somebody to sort that out for me. And another project I need to tackle is actually the flooring in the workshop itself. It's just concrete. And as you know, it's not very good for your knees, especially when you're standing in a one spot for so many uh, hours. So I've got a few ideas uh, how to sort that out. 
and again you'll see that in the future videos. Now I'm quite fortunate because this is not the end of my workshop. Through there there's another room. As you can see at the moment there is no doors and that's one of the things I need to put in as this will be the main garage area where the car would park. That will be my woodworking shop. Whereas in this place, I'm going to have my resin workshop. So it's separated, the dust won't get through. Um, I'm thinking of putting some sort of a membrane here, like a special door that will prevent the dust going from the workshop um, to the resin room. As you can see, it's absolutely cluttered with our stuff from the move. So that needs to be sorted out first. Now, this room is nine square meters so it's a decent size for me to do something again the high ceilings i can use that into my advantage and uh, the lighting yes needs to be sorted in this room the insulation is already there but there is no proper ceiling so i just need to board it up now this unit it's a vacuum that's connected to the house so it's pretty neat you only need a hose and the outlets in the house that you put the hose in and it works. Um, so obviously that needs to stay here but I think I'm going to board it up in, in a way. Obviously making sure there's enough airflow going through it so it's not so visible and it's not creating much dust for me. On that side there is an outlet for the garden hose and the water. So that will be another project for me to sort out and build something around it so it's nice and neat. I really can't wait to dig into this workshop and start creating something really cool that I hope you will enjoy uh, as well. But that's not all. As you can see, there is another room over here. This one has got some doors, but they're very poorly put in and they're not very sturdy. So I need to get that sorted. Now, as you can see, there are two massive tanks here. That's our heating system and our water for the whole house. The whole thing is being heated by an air pump that's outside of the house. Um, to be fair, my knowledge about this is not the greatest, but if you're interested, let me know and I'll try to get some more info on it. And maybe in a future video, I will talk about it. So this is our main room where as I said, the heating system is, the hot water for our house, and it's just this area there. On top of it, in this room, I've actually got behind there some doors. At the minute, they're blocked off, but in the future, the garage doors, that's what's going to get blocked off, as I don't want people to see me going in and out, in and out, uh, through the street. Um, for safety reasons as the main road is just outside our gates from that side so if I go around my house where there's nobody there nobody will see me and I think it's just a little bit more safer and attracts less attention from the wrong people. At the minute I've got my fridge over here, the one I had in the UK as uh, the one in the house is built in so it's already there and obviously a lot of clutter again but uh, this room will actually be our storage area for the house. We'll be keeping things here. So I'm not going to be using that as a workshop or anything, especially with the tanks and the whole system. I don't want to have any accidents and damage it as it is very expensive. And I wouldn't know how to fix it because you need to be a fully fledged specialist to do anything with it. So that's how it looks like. The ceiling in here. Um, again, it's insulated, but I need to board it up. The lights are probably what it is because it won't need any additional lighting. Obviously, at the minute, there's just a bulb, so I'll, I'll install something nice. So I mentioned before the main doors from the garage that's going to be blocked off, and I need to insulate that um, for two reasons. A, the heat in the summer and obviously the cold in the winter, so I'm not freezing my nuts off. And additionally, as I just mentioned, the road is just over here, so the noise from the passing cars will probably interrupt the videos that I will be making for you here. I need to figure out a way of insulating these doors in a way that will block well the noise from outside but also from the noise of the machines working here on the outside so my neighbors will not kill me in the near future. If you've been following me for a while you know this is my first video in a while a proper video probably more than six seven months now something like that and if you're still here 
thank you for being here. It's really important to me that you manage to stick and watch my videos. I'm really happy for that. And for anybody new, well, there's uh, really cool videos coming up of transforming this garage into a fully fledged workshop. Can't wait for the projects to start rolling in, but the videos in the near future may not be every week as uh, some of the work will take a long time to sort out like the ceiling, the insulation, so you'll see a video from that but I'm not sure how long it will actually take and actually ordering the stuff in Poland that takes a while as well. Let me know down in the comments how do you see this place if you like it or you don't um, and what have you got? Have you started your woodworking adventure or are you just thinking of starting? I'm hoping you're gonna stay on my channel, watch my videos and my next video shouldn't be too far away. I just need to sort out this mess and get this workshop ready for insulating the ceiling and boarding it up. Guys, thank you so much for watching, thank you for being with me and I hope to see you on my next video. Take care.